Oh, amazingly, we are finally up and running. Listen, I am so sorry. I know we're very, very late, and I apologize. <laughs> uh, here's what happened. I went to start the broadcast. Everything was set up, and when I went to initiate the stream, all of a sudden the software locked up. Then it crashed the whole laptop. Then I couldn't reboot the laptop because it said Windows was corrupted or something was corrupted. Then it went into repair mode and basically then it was a series of reboots and etc. And then I ultimately had to once again completely delete and reinstall the broadcast software. It's been often. It's been awful. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. Listen, I tried to email through ebay as many of you as i could get to of course this was a big night we had 90 spots and i was also trying to fix this in the meantime so if i did not get a message to you i apologize i think i did get most of you somewhere along the way to let you know what was going on but i know it's frustrating i'm so sorry i have a new laptop on order it should be here by the end of the week and if that doesn't fix it then we're just going to ditch this broadcast software and start over because we've been having lots of problems lately, but uh, none like this. So, wow, uh, thanks for sticking in there with me, and uh, let's get underway, and apologies again for the unintentional delay. So what you see there, of course, a note about feedback to let you know that my feedback is completely automated anytime that you leave positive feedback for me. You are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience tonight. I don't like it when things like this happen, and I surely don't like it when they make us this late. So I'm, again, super sorry. But thanks for being here. Let's move on down the road. So tomorrow night, we've got a couple of new releases. It's Encased Basketball for 1920. Then the first look at our 2021 basketball will be Contenders Draft Picks. We're going to break both of those by the half case. They are both loose boxes from shared cases. Contenders draft picks spots are sold by first letter of the last name. Thursday night, half case of Allen and Genter. Friday night, new release is XR Football. We're going to be breaking a 15-box case of that. Saturday and Sunday are both off nights. If you are in one of our free shipping breaks tonight, that's the football helmet and the game day greats autographed jerseys. If you hit one of those, it's going to be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Free shipping breaks always work that way. Sometimes they go sooner, sometimes they go later, but it uh, wouldn't go later. I mean, sometimes they go sooner, sometimes they go closer to that date, but they would not be later than the 27th. If you get skunked in one of the memorabilia breaks, typically your consolation cards would be held and sent with your next package just because it is a free shipping break. But if you want it sent sooner, you only need to send me a message on eBay and let me know. I'll take care of it for you. Gold Label, if you were to get skunked in that, your consolation cards would ship out with the rest of the break since it's a paid shipping break. And that should be out the door by Friday, plus or minus a day, but I'm anticipating Friday. Finally, the order we're going in tonight, the full-size football helmets are first. Football jerseys are second. Gold Label Baseball is third. And for those of you just joining, thank you again for your patience. I know it was awful. Lots of problems. Laptop crashed. Broadcast software crashed. Nightmare. Anyway, we're running now. Thank you for being patient. And if I didn't get a message to you on eBay again, I apologize. I tried to reach as many people as I could. This says three times full-size football helmet because I'm on autopilot, and yeah, that's what I thought we were opening, because the <laughs> authentic ones we've been opening were three box cases. Guess what? This is a four box case. So you know what? We're going to open all four, and you just get an extra helmet, because I was a bonehead and listed it wrong. I listed it as three. Really, it's four. So it also said case, so I'm not going to punish you for that. I'm going to open the whole case. So if you're in the football helmet break, you just get a fourth one thrown in. How about that? Takes a little of the sting out of waiting, doesn't it? As you might imagine, this is too big to put up on the table. In fact, it's really, really, really big case. <laughs> that probably should have clued me in that there were more than three in there, huh? <laughs> oh, what can I tell you? All right. Let's get the four of these out of here, and then we'll, of course, open them one at a time. Once I can wiggle them all out of there anyway. Okay, 
let's see what it is. Football helmet time. All right, we're going to try to, let's see if we can, I'm going to try to slide this out the front without knocking over the camera. There's not a ton of space to work here. Ooh, look at the first one we see. Oh, ooh, hot dog. Yeah, chargers. Got a little superstar on your hand there, I think. And this is a nice hit. I imagine it'll be his collegiate helmet. Uh, and of course, that's a collegiate helmet. If they are active players, they go to the team they are currently with. When they are retired players, they go to the team they played for the longest. So there's your Justin Herbert autograph. And of course, oh boy, oh brother, um, hang on a minute. Something is trying to install itself over there and I don't know what it is. So I'm going to cancel it and hope to heavens we don't have some other weirdness start happening. Um, so the Justin Herbert obviously goes to the Chargers. It is Beckett authenticated. You can see the sticker back there. And I don't know what is, oh boy, it is doing something and I don't like what it's doing. I hope it stops. There is a Beckett COA, which is in the lid of this box. So there it is. There's your paper COA. And I'm just going to, for now, leave it right where it is. So the first one out, a really nice one, being Justin Herbert going to the Chargers, signed on his collegiate helmet. Let's get a look at number two. Hopefully it will be as good, right? And who all is here? Randy's here. He says, my Steelers are on fire. They have been playing well. Of course, I'm pretty unhappy that Devin Bush is out, and I don't really know what that's going to do to us, but they have been pretty good. And Travis is here, and Kyle, and Jeremiah, and Paul, and Glenn, and Gary. We got lots in here. Yeah, Gary, Gold Label is our third break of the night. We've got the helmets and then the jerseys and then Gold Label. This one is Antonio Brown. It says on the top there. I don't know if it came out facing you or not. Could be a Raider. Could be a Steeler. Who knows what it's on. Actually, technically could be a Patriot. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Ah, I see that gold stripe. It's going to be a Steeler. Not that any self-respecting Steelers fan still wants it, but there it is. Antonio Brown autographed helmet for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It is JSA authenticated. There's our sticker on the back. Oh, look at that. They've zip-tied the other authentication. Yeah, oh, how about that? That's interesting. So we are Chargers and Steelers at the moment. And let me get this one out of the way. And we'll get into the third one. I'll tell you what else I think I'm going to do. I'm going to change up that focus a little bit because I think it's kind of zooming in and out on us a little. So I think I'll just make that a fixed focus and that should stop the zooming in and out. I usually do that before we start. But of course we know tonight's been a little off kilter so far. Did we get the seal cut? No. Maybe now. Maybe. Hopefully. Calvin Ridley coming out next. Oh. Yeah, there is not a lot of workspace on this table. 
I'm always afraid I'm going to dump that camera over, which happens pretty often. I see the back of this has come off of there. It does slide back on. I think that happens fairly often with these replicas. The ear pads come out, which I see one is missing. And then the back falls off. Where's our missing ear pad? Is it in here? No, it's not even in there. It's not even in our bag. So <laughs> is it stuck down in the rest of the helmet? No. So they didn't do a very good job on this one. It is missing an ear pad inside and then the little piece that slides across the back is loose and that is how it came out of the box and that is calvin ridley for the falcons and it is beckett authenticated this little piece will just slide right back in there but the missing earpiece i don't know where it is and there is your beckett authentication paperwork Falcons, Chargers, Steelers, one to go for the helmets. Randy says that that would make a nice boat anchor. I bet you're talking about the Antonio Brown. <laughs> I didn't look over there again until just now. Dave says he's available to play this year. Well, yeah, they may have cleared him. I don't know. But honestly, he left a pretty big mess in his wake. Not just with the Steelers, obviously, but with the Patriots. Ooh, Roger Staubach, nice. With the Patriots and with the Raiders. And so, yeah, I think his time may have come and gone for Antonio Brown. This is another one where the Beckett COA is in the top of the box. It's like taped in to the top of the box. So there's one thing to be happy about if you're a Cowboys fan, and that is this Roger Staubach helmet and Beckett authentication. And again, your paperwork is down taped inside the box lid. So you do have the paper COA too. All right. So we are Steelers, Cowboys, Chargers, who is our other one? Steelers, Cowboys, Chargers, and who is the other one? Falcons, yeah, that was the other one, Falcons. Calvin Ridley. All right, jerseys on tap. So let's get back to our happy spreadsheet here and take a look at that. So once again, the free shipping stuff, the jerseys and the helmets. If you hit one, it'll be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Won't be any later than that. Might be towards the front, but it definitely won't be any later. And <clears throat> if you got skunked in one of these memorabilia breaks, Constellation card typically sent with your next package. If you want it sent sooner, hit me up and let me know. We'll get it taken care of for you. This is a five box case of Game Day Great Series 3 autograph football jerseys. Full case break, break number four, also ended tonight on eBay, which is Tuesday night, the 20th of October. Once again, you'll find your team names on one side and the eBay user ID of each bidder across from their team on the opposite side. And I did count this one right. <laughs> so if you were in the helmet break, I mean, hey, you came out all right. Because I listed it saying it was only three and we really broke four. So the helmet people are probably happy. The jersey people are going, hey, why didn't you count mine wrong? <laughs> Well, because the TriStar jerseys are always the same number in a case. And I think all those Leaf helmets full size used to be three box cases. But I'm also pretty sure what I did 
was modify a listing that had been for the authentic helmets and those were three to a case so whoops all right now same deal applies if this comes out on a collegiate jersey if it's an active player it goes to their current team if it's a retired player to the team they played for the longest so the first jersey that i see ooh, it's kurt warner ooh, how about that that is nice so there is your kurt warner signature and looks like you've got a hologram authentication probably a player authentication and then uh, that looks like a TriStar hologram as well. And that, of course, we can see there on the sleeves, a Rams jersey. You've also got a TriStar authentication paper, but those are generic. So it's that same little piece of paper in every single TriStar item. So it's not unique to the item. Obviously, the sticker on the item is unique to the item, but the little TriStar paper isn't. So, Kurt Warner and the Rams out first. Randy, I see over there you're talking about Tua. Yeah, that was a surprise today, wasn't it? They've made him the official starter, and honestly, Fitzmagic was doing pretty well for him, but that's what they decided to do, so there you go. This is Bob Lilly for the Cowboys. You'll notice it's got a little bend in it, but these are just, you know, little things TriStar types up and puts in there, so it's not that big a deal. Your TriStar generic paperwork. Your Bob Lilly autograph and Hall of Fame inscription. And down there at the bottom is your TriStar hologram sticker. And let's just go ahead and get our... Let's just get all of our paperwork inside this bag together. What do you say? So, the Cowboys hit in the jerseys and the helmets tonight. How about that? So, we are Rams and Cowboys so far. And our jerseys. <laughs> I see somebody typed in Forgettable Falcons because I couldn't remember the last helmet. Oh, I know. Poor Falcons. They did get their first win, though. So, there's that. They're not winless anymore, I don't think. Are they? Yeah, didn't they win? I think they did. Here comes Deshaun Watson for the Texans. And we're trying to just move that little TriStar piece of paper out of the way so we can see what we want to see. And there's your Deshaun Watson autograph. And then over here, we've once again got what appears to be a player authentication sticker and your TriStar hologram authentication sticker as well. So we are now Texans, Rams, and Cowboys for three of our jerseys with two left to go. And we'll see what we can find in this little hot mess. Looks like it's going to be the Browns, doesn't it? It is Bernie Kosar. And there is your Bernie Kosar autograph and your JSA authentication, JSA paperwork in the back. And I'm just going to, you know, check that because I think that looks, I mean, that looks like the Browns jersey to me. But listen, I'm not going to take a chance on it. I'm just going to double check it and make sure that I'm not steering you wrong. I mean, I'm feeling like that's where that goes but um let's just make sure yeah that's definitely cleveland just was making sure because <laughs> you know those cleveland quarterbacks although he lasted longer than many they do bounce around the league a bit but i think he was with cleveland what like i don't know five six years anyway maybe more than all right, so we are Browns, Texans, Cowboys, Rams, and we have one left to go. So, come on out of there. Last man out. Last man standing. And it is Troy Smith. 
All right, this is definitely on a collegiate jersey. This is on an Ohio State jersey. And there is your autograph. And down here, the, and well, hard to see through two layers of plastic, but it's there. Your Heisman inscription. There's your TriStar hologram authentication. Your TriStar generic paperwork. And, uh, of course, Troy Smith, we know he was drafted by the Ravens, but is that the only place he played? Truthfully, don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to make sure. All right. So we'll just double check it here very quickly so that I don't uh, send you down the wrong place. Yeah, so he was three years Ravens. And uh, since this is on a collegiate jersey, that is going to go to the Ravens, where he played the longest. So that's how that one works. Okay, so there we go. We've got the Ravens, the Browns, the Cowboys, the Rams, and the Texans, our five jerseys for tonight. So let's get gold label underway. My poor baseball people had to be extra patient, not only patient with the fact that I had all the unfortunate uh, technical issues, <laughs> which were quite uh, interesting, but then you had to wait through those others too. So listen, I appreciate that. Hopefully we're going to make it worth your while. Come on there. All right. So one more time, the jerseys and the helmets. If you hit one, it's going to be out the door and on the way to you between now and a week from now, Tuesday the 27th. Might go sooner, won't go later. You know, sometimes it'll go out within a day or two. Sometimes it's closer to the 27th, but it wouldn't be any later than that. And if you got skunked in one of the memorabilia breaks, and you would like to have your consolation card sent to you right away instead of being held and sent with your next package, send me a message on eBay. Let me know that's what you want, and I'll get it taken care of for you. And our paid shipping break tonight, that's what we're headed into. That is Gold Label Baseball. And it should ship out Friday, I believe. Always plus or minus a day. So if things go well, sometimes a day early, something goes off the rails, huh, like it did tonight, <laughs> sometimes a day later. But in general, right about that time frame. So it is a 16 box case of gold label baseball. It's a full case break. It's break number two. Ended tonight on eBay the same night we are breaking it, which once again is Tuesday the 20th of October. We've got our team names there on the left hand side. Winning bidders are across from each team or winning bidder user IDs, I should say, across from each team there on the opposite side. So let's get busy and get in some gold label. So yeah, I'm going to tell you, if this new laptop does not fix all these problems I've been having with that broadcast software, I guess I'll just have to ditch it and get something else. But I really like it when it works, <laughs> which it did until they did that last update. And what I think has happened is maybe that last update is in some way not compatible with some of my other stuff. I don't know. It, it works well some nights, and then other nights it acts ridiculous. But I've never had it quite do exactly what it did tonight, which was totally crash everything. <laughs> and then sort of wiped out windows. I mean, that was weird, too. Because when I tried to restart it, yeah, it came up and had to go into repair mode and... It was a whole thing. So I don't know what is going on with it. But I do know a new laptop will be here by the end of the week. That much I do know. So if we can't get it under control with the new laptop, then we'll be ditching we'll be ditching our broadcast software and starting over. That's how that's gonna work. All right. We are looking for, should have told you that before I tossed that box, one framed autograph card per box. You'll see it up there at the top. And then, of course, we're going to find uh, a few other little odds and ends in here as well. There are, I think that's our hit, there are 
class one, class two, and class three base cards in here. Class one, the most common. Class three, the least common. Sometimes we find some numbered parallels in there as well. And uh, when we find those, of course, I'm going to point them out to you. Oh, we might have two hits in this box. We might have a, we might have a relic and a framed hit in there. So we'll save those to the end. So again, if you're looking at it like that one is a class three, you can see it written there in the background tells you what the class of each one is. And they're all based just image variations, basically. So a class one image is different than a two, different than a three, etc. Here is a numbered card. It's Kyle Lewis. So that's not a bad first numbered card to see, right? It is numbered to 99, going to Seattle and the Mariners. I see Gary's Garage is here looking for a Jose Canseco framed autograph. And hi to Vintage Dugout and Travis and Jesus and Jeremiah. I don't know if I saw you guys come in earlier, so hi to you. Welcome and thank you as well for your patience tonight. I know it's frustrating when things are late. I was a little frustrated myself. I have to admit, I said some words that weren't very pleasant myself. <laughs> We've got a Brewers and a Royals base card. We did indeed have our relic there. And it is numbered to 50. It's Cal Ripken Jr. for the Baltimore Orioles. Now comes our first framed autograph. We'll have a couple of base cards hiding in there with it too. Looks like we've got the Cubs and the Toronto Blue Jays. And our first framed autograph, it's numbered to 50. It's going to Miami. And it is Yamamoto headed to the Miami Marlins. So Dodgers and uh, Rays started the World Series tonight, of course. I did not have a chance to watch any of that. I was busy getting ready for the break, and then, well, you know what happened after that. <laughs> I hit Initiate Stream about 8.59 and then spent 45 minutes, um, you know, sweating and cursing to myself and out loud and uh, all that fun stuff. So I don't know what the score is or who's doing what. So if anybody has the game on and you want to share what the uh, what the score is in the World Series, well, uh, I wouldn't mind knowing that if you happen to have it on or know off the top of your head. I'm really happy if either one wins. I'm okay if the Dodgers win. I'm okay if the Rays win. I do have a little bit of a tendency to root for the underdog, so it kind of leads me a little bit towards the Rays, but either way, I'm going to be okay, as long as it's fun to watch. I don't want it to be really lopsided or anything like that, because those aren't too much fun to watch. That is numbered to 150, and it goes to the Indians, Shane Bieber. So that's our second numbered card that we've seen out of this. Scott says baseball season ended Sunday, so Scott is not a fan of the Rays or the Dodgers then, quite obviously. Must be a Braves fan. So there's uh, Arenado and Soler. Our autograph is out for the Cubbies, and that is Garcia, Robel Garcia, framed autograph out of box number two. Yeah, that's a tough beat if you're a Braves fan. We talked about that a little bit last night, too. It's, man, I mean, you got to live with that base running mistake that, whew, I mean, that really could have changed the way the game ended up. But it shouldn't have come down to that anyway, honestly. I mean, it was a, Braves had such a big lead in the series, and, and it just kind of all, it kind of all went the way of, um, the way of my computer equipment tonight. <laughs> it just <laughs> went you know where in a handbasket all of a sudden. Numbered 250. It's going to be a Kyle Lewis kind of night, isn't it? That is the Mariners with the red parallel numbered to 50. And it was also a class 2, by the way, if you were keeping track of that. But... 
What you really want probably is Kyle Lewis autograph, right? So you're like, yeah, the numbered stuff is fine, but we want the ink. I hear you, Mariners. We're going to try to get the ink put together for you before we get out of here tonight. We'll see if we can't conjure one up. We'll try very hard. All right, there's uh, Astros and Braves, our two base out of that one. And, oh, I saw that Mariner, and I thought, ooh, did we just conjure it up for real? But no, it was a different Mariner. <laughs> we have a Justin Dunn instead for the Mariners. But, hey, we got you on the right track anyway. He says it was destined to happen after the base is loaded and nobody out. Well, I don't know. It was a crazy kind of series on both of them, really. I mean, the Tampa Bay Rays jumped out to such a big lead, and then they barely hang on to make it to the World Series. And, and the Braves had jumped out to such a huge lead over the Dodgers, but they obviously did not hang on to, to make it. But both uh, American and National League go in seven games. Who even remembers the last time that happened? So it was entertaining anyway. Arguably, maybe not fun to watch if one of them was your team, depending on which was your team. But for the rest of us whose teams weren't directly involved, it was kind of fun to watch. Numbered to 99 for the Phillies. There's JT Romuto. But yeah, it's... Um, I don't know. I, I hope it's not a lopsided World Series, but... It's hard to say. Number to 50, the A's, Jesus Lazardo. So the blue parallel there for the Oakland A's that was a class three, I believe. The lower numbered ones on the color are also uh, usually correspond to the higher class numbers. So for the Indians, we have a little Bobby Bradley out to keep us. Happy tonight in Cleveland. Yeah, so Kershaw, Kershaw was pitching tonight, right, against, um, I think, was Tyler starting Glass now for the Rays? I think it was Kershaw Glass now. So, I don't know. Kershaw, of course, we all know he's had some, some issues in the postseason, so I don't know how he'll do tonight. And Tyler Glass now has been a little bit up and down lately, too. So, it's interesting they started out with those two. Numbered to 75, it is Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. But I guess you have to work your way through the rotation, given how many games they had to play in such short time frames, what with not changing ballparks and all. No road days or rest days. Numbered to 99, Cody Bellinger and the Dodgers. Dodgers are up 6-1. Whoo! Thank you, Chris, for the score. Uh, I am shocked that they are 6-1. I really uh, did not expect that. So, there you go. So, I guess my theory about Ray's pitching, keeping the Dodger bats quiet, uh, certainly didn't pan out tonight, did it? The Astros and Jose, Jose or Quitty. Of course, you know, the Braves were coming into it with a lot of momentum, having rallied back from that deficit in the pennant race. You had to come out of that feeling like you're Superman, kind of. Whereas the Rays probably came out of it thinking, whoo, we're glad to be alive after we lost. <laughs> you know, had a little backslide there towards the end of their series. So I, I do definitely believe that momentum has a lot to do with it. Because your mindset is completely different in position A to position B. So, But it's a long ways to go before, obviously, we know 
how things are going to shake out. But I am surprised they're up by six. I would have thought it would have maybe been two, three runs at the most. But apparently not. They just batted around, he said. Wow. <laughs> and Glassnow still in the game? I bet not, not after that, if he was. <laughs> Numbered to 150, that is Nolan Ryan for the Rangers. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't love that they were starting with Glass now. Anyway, just I don't think he's been super consistent. But what are you going to do? Here comes one for the Angels. That is Matt Face out for Los Angeles. The Angels. I know I'm keeping you all up late on a work night. Uh, but I guess good and bad news. The bad news is it was one of those nights where we had three things scheduled. The good news is all three things we had scheduled were not terribly time intensive to break so that's I guess sort of the good news but I don't know they're, 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 it blew my on time rate I'll tell you that I'm probably worse than Delta Airlines now after tonight which is going some and it always seems to be on those nights where I've got like everything ready and I'm actually going to hit start like a couple minutes early just to let people get in the room that's those are always the nights when it happens always number to 150 that is the red sox and jd martinez Last now, four and a third, six earned runs. Oh, ow, ouch. That is terrible. Here come the Phillies. JT Romuto, number 275, making the Philadelphia Phillies happy in the break tonight. Boy, I'm looking over there. That computer is still trying to install something. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. I told it no and tried to cancel it, and I see it trying to start over there again. I don't even know what it's trying to download. That's kind of causing me extra stress, too. <laughs> but hopefully it's not going to start up doing anything. I've kind of given it a little side eye here, trying to make sure that Whatever that is doesn't come and jump in the middle of what we're working on. For the Angels, number to 150, there is a blue parallel Rendon. And, of course, Class 1, or number to 150 in the blue. I'm sure we uh, have... Well, maybe I didn't say that before, I'm, but they are. And the Class 2 are to 99, the Class 3 are to 50 in blue. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that was Mets and Yankees. We've got another autograph for the Cubbies. Oh, you got Nico this time. That's nice. Well, Nico Hornerer, it is numbered to 25. Woohoo! So the red parallel for the Cubs with your rookie Nico Hornerer. So we are halfway through. We've opened eight. We have eight remaining in this uh case of gold label baseball I tell you what I am pretty excited about the new laptop that's coming that's on the way and I'm still going to be happy I have it even if it turns out that that wasn't the problem with this software but I think it has to be I really do because I wasn't having any of these problems until they updated it and I just think I mean, this laptop's not that old, but it's maybe three or four years old. And you know how it is. Sometimes something will update, and then just all of a sudden it just messes up your whole system. 
So I kind of hope, I definitely hope that this takes care of that problem. But even if that isn't the problem, I'm still going to be kind of happy about the laptop, I think, because it is souped up. <laughs> I don't think it'll make any difference in the way the brakes look, because that all depends on lovely spectrum and the internet speed that they actually provide me. No matter what you pay them for, they don't always give you that much. You know how that goes. So I don't know if it'll look any different on your end, but I'm hoping that it'll be better on mine. Logan Webb for the Giants. Well, San Francisco. Oh, Jeremiah must have the Cubbies. Because <laughs> he's got a big thank you in over there. So he must have the Cubbies. Yeah, the other thing that I thought was interesting about this uh, laptop... And I guess it's all going to sort of go this way eventually. But all of the connections are uh, USB-C. So the only thing I have device-wise <laughs> that is USB-C is my iPad, which I don't need to connect to my laptop. So that was interesting. So yeah, no HDMI, no, no other USB ports of any sort except USB-C. So you have to go get docking stations and all that fun stuff now. Juan Soto, numbered to 75 for the Nationals. So I did not realize uh, until I ordered that that they had switched all the laptops to USB-C. But on the flip side, they are all AX for Wi-Fi, which is Wi-Fi 6. So I may, have to, I may end up getting a new router. Numbered to 99. That is Garrett Cole and the Yankees. My router's only uh, AC. Of course, I only have one device. <laughs> That'll be, that is AX Wi-Fi 6. It'll be that laptop. But still, I just kind of want to know how fast it'll go, you know. <laughs> Bobby B. Hey, Bobby. We did not have any Eagles jerseys hit. And I assume you, I hope you saw my message. I tried to, I may have missed a few people, but I was trying really hard to message everybody in the midst of also dealing with uh, my crashed computer. So hopefully you saw that and knew I was running late. Abraham Toro for the Astros. And hey, Bobby, you were going to send me your email so that I could... Um, talk to you about those fantasy sports breaks uh, boxes but because you know I can't see it anymore you know eBay strips it out now so you can't see anybody's email well once you switch to manage payments you can no longer see anybody's email at least I can't you guys may be able to see mine I can't see yours so yeah you're gonna have to email it to me and let me know and then I will try to get the, I'll try to get a tally for you on what I have on the fantasy sports. Of course, you know this one that's been on the table. It's got some places where the cellophane is is pulled apart. It's still on there, but it's pulled apart from all the handling of sitting on the table. And it was kind of coming apart when I got it even. That's to 99 Tim Anderson and the White Sox. So I do have some little pieces of cellophane tape on it to keep it from splitting all the way off. But... I think most of the rest of them, which haven't been sitting out on the table, would be fine. I don't even know what all I've got, but I think there's probably baseball, basketball, and football, probably. Numbered to 50, that is Steven Strasburg and the Nationals. That is if you still, um, that is if you still want it, I should say. Chris says all personal electronics are going to use USB Type-C. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, oh, what about all the stuff we have that's legacy? In the meantime, you could at least give me one port or two, you know? I mean, like the mouse, the um, camera, the webcam, the uh, laptop, the cooler, the pad that it sets on to keep it cool, Yamamoto, the Marlins. You know, the cooler's HDMI. The camera is uh, USB, obviously. The mouse is wireless, but with the USB chip. But none of that is USB-C. And while the webcam is maybe a couple years old, the mouse is 
brand new, and I've yet to see a cooling pad that uses USB-C. So I'm like, I don't mind that we're going to switch to USB-C, but just, hey, you got to understand when they're issuing these laptops that, yeah, you're going to have some legacy devices <laughs> and monitors. We don't have any monitors that are USB-C if you wanted to hook up to a multiple monitor setup, at least none that I've seen anyway. Bobby, you said it's getting to the point with distributors and Panini with their products. You're just going to sit for a week on your pre-sale allocations and start flipping boxes. <laughs> all right, there you go. So so in other words, you don't, you're not going to break fantasy sports and all that stuff. So you don't care about those. Which that's cool. If, if you don't, that's cool. Number to 150, that is Mark McGuire and the A's. I just know you had asked me about it, and I had told you I would get it together for you, and then I realized I didn't have your email, and yeah, so I didn't want to message you about it on eBay, because you know they get very testy about those sorts of things, so I couldn't be like, oh, hey, yeah, you know that stuff you wanted to buy? <laughs> Number to 25, it is another one for the Mariners, Ichiro for Seattle. Oh, no, you do want those. Oh, okay, gotcha. You're just saying, in general, what you're going to do is set on your allocations and then flip them by the box. I can't say that I blame you. I mean, the allocations have been, well, just dreadful, as you know. Well, look at that. Astros have another Urquiddy here. This one, though, is a red parallel, number 25, but it is your second Houston Astros Urquiddy in there. So, huh. Chris says, but how would they make any money? They change cord types every few years so they can make more money. Well, for sure, Apple does, yes. But I actually, my laptop is, I don't have a Mac. I didn't, I don't have a, uh, had I gotten a Mac, that's what I would have expected, but I did not. I'm actually PC on my laptop, Android on my phone, Apple on my iPad, and my desktop in the office is also... Um, not Apple. The only thing I've got that's Apple is the iPad. And for sure, I would have expected a Mac to be all USB-C, but I didn't go that route. I got the PC route instead. To 150, that's Aaron Judge and the Yankees. I don't really know why. I, I just, I don't know. I've always had a PC for work, and I guess that's just what I'm used to, so... I didn't even think about ordering a Mac, truthfully, until you, <laughs> you just now said that. But I did order a really souped-up PC for the new laptop. It is numbered to 50, Tim Anderson and the Chicago White Sox, the red parallel. In fact, it has as much memory and RAM on this laptop as I had on my desktop PC the most recent one, not the one I just bought a couple months ago, but the one that I retired a couple of months ago. So, yeah, this thing is loaded. It better it better work right. I'm going to be mad if it doesn't. Shogo Akiyama, that is the Cincinnati Reds. Look at that. My Reds get one with the rookie Shogo. Gotta like that. Bobby B, you're getting a new dog tomorrow. What kind of dog are you getting, Bobby? You know I want to live vicariously if you're getting a new pet. I love animals, so you're going to have to share. You're going to have to tell us more about that. Chris, you said your last two Samsung items have both been USB-C, so you think it's probably going to be universal. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get a new Galaxy when it you know they always have Black Friday deals on the outgoing model of Samsung phones and I'm gonna get a new one I believe over well I guess it won't be exactly Black Friday this year with the pandemic, all the places are spreading it out, but sometime in the month of November I intend to get the new Galaxy, so I'm gonna assume based on what you're telling me 
then I can expect that to also be USB-C, huh? Which means I have to get a new car charger. Boo. Number to 75. It is Sunny Gray for the Cincinnati Reds. So look at that. The Reds got an autograph and then they got one to 25. How about that? Oh, so as long as your current dog gets along with the new dog tomorrow in the meet and greet. Well, what kind is it? What kind's your current dog and who's the new dog? You have to tell us. Give us, oh, this is nice. Give us the scoop. And I say that especially because this guy has been absolutely on fire, which I'm sure you already know if you have the Rays. And that is Randy Arozarena. Of course, he was a late call-up. He had COVID when everything started. He didn't even come up until August. And he has just been knocking the cover off the ball. It's really good. Very, very, very good. I think he's DH tonight, though. But anyway, if you're Tampa Bay, that's uh, probably a pretty good little hit for you along about now. Your dog is a pit lab big cuddle girl, you said. <laughs> the new dog is black lab. Oh, well, they're going to get along, hopefully. That would be nice. And your dog has somebody to play with. My friend uh, did that. She had a, a dog who would, like, get, I guess, kind of lonely if she were at work or whatever. So she got another smaller, actually smaller dog. But kind of a playmate for her original dog and when she first brought it in the original dog was like "Ooh, I don't like this little dog very much and she was feeling like oh she had made a mistake for about a week or 10 days and then just all of a sudden like a flip switch uh, switch flipped number 250 it is Xander Bogarts the blue parallel class 3 for the Red Sox and then they started getting along like gangbusters, and now they play, and they cuddle, and they're like best little buddies. But I know she said there for like the first 10 days or so, she was super stressed out, thinking that it was not going to work. Aaron Hicks for the New York Yankees. So uh, there's one to get New York before we close out tonight. And we are coming up on our final box, box number 16 out of Gold Label, which we are going to just go right ahead and call for some last box mojo right now. See if we can pull some fire out of here. Let's hope, anyway. You said you're about to foster, but you're so scared you'll get way too attached. Well, um, she has fostered some animals, too, and definitely she gets attached to them, but I think as long as you know they're going to a good home, I think she's always been kind of okay when, when it's time to let them go. I mean, she does miss them, for sure, but but she, I mean, she doesn't foster, like, all the time, but she certainly has done it in the past plenty of times. To 150, Steven Strasburg in the Nationals. I see what I believe is going to be a pretty nice little hit hanging out there in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there it is. It is numbered 225. And it is awfully nice for the Yankees. It is a relic autograph pairing of Andy Pettit. So, woohoo! Chris, you said you've just got the S20, but now Samsung announced the S21 is coming out soon, literally a week after you bought yours. Well, they always do that, though. I mean, the 21 comes out, what, usually in February or March, somewhere in that time frame. So they always mark down the other ones. That's why they're always such a good deal on Black Friday is because they're, you know, they're three or four months away from having the new model. But my phone is completely shot. 
it is out of memory. I can't do anything on it as slow as can be because I'm out of memory. I can't even add pictures. I can't do anything and I can't wait three or four more months. I've got to have something sooner. All right, we're going to recap. So once again, our blue, when they are class one, are numbered to 150. When our blue are class three, like that one, they are numbered to 50. And then we have some red over here, numbered to 75 as a class one, and a red numbered to 50 is a class two. I know, it's a lot to keep up with, isn't it? So there's class one for the Yankees. This is class three, red to 25. This being to 150, class one for the A's, class three for the Nationals. This is a two for the, the White Sox being to 99, a two for the Yankees. This is a one for the Nationals, a one for the Angels, one for the Red Sox, class one for the Rangers, class two Dodgers, class one Dodgers, class three for the A's, class two Phillies, this is class two, I have to think about that a minute, for the Mariners, class one for the Indians, and class two for the Mariners. So those are our numbered cards that don't have autographs or relics or anything like that, all right? Cal Ripken Jr., number 250, that is our nice little case hit relic. Just looked over there and saw Chris says the Dodgers are up 8-1 to one now. Oh, mercy. Oh, Bobby, you bet on the Rays? You laid money on the Rays tonight? Oh, that is tough. That is a tough, that's a bad beat, man. For the Marlins, it's Yamamoto. Then we've got the Astros and Abraham Toro. The Giants and Logan Webb, number 225 for the Cubbies. That is your young rookie, Nico Hornerer. The Phillies, numbered to 75, Real Muto. And we've got the Angels and Matt Face, followed by Jose Urquidy for the Astros. And there's another one of him that we're going to run across somewhere in this second little stack, I believe. We are number 225 with that sweet hit right there. That is Andy Pettit. For the Yankees, it's hard to see, but you do have a little edge of a pinstripe right on the edge of the relic. So, good-looking card for Andy Pettit and the Yankees. And then we have the Yankees with Aaron Hicks. This is nice for the Tampa Bay Rays. Randy Arozarena, who has been incredible lately. For the Cincinnati Reds, you have your rookie Shogo Akiyama. Here's the other Aquiti, number 225. This one is for the Astros, the red parallel. The Indians bringing home Bobby Bradley. The Seattle Mariners got Justin Dunn. The Cubbies had a second hit, and it was Robel Garcia. And we got started with this Yamamoto, and it is numbered to 50 for Miami and the Marlins. All right, so, um, yeah, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience tonight and being understanding and cool about the fact that I had an absolute technological meltdown here. <laughs> it was really horrible and terribly stressful, <laughs> and I am immensely grateful that you stuck with me and that you understand uh, that it certainly was not intentional and again hopefully everybody saw my message there may have been two or three of you that I didn't get to I lost my place a time or two because I'd have to run in here and I was trying to do both send messages and watch as this was trying to go through its repair and reboot and all that fun stuff so if I miss sending you the message I apologize I did try to get everyone informed so that you knew that things were a little off the rails over here. So um, thanks once again for hanging in there with me. Hopefully the last time we'll have to deal with it since there's a new laptop on the way. So one more time, shipping-wise, if you hit in the football helmet or the jersey break, which were our free shipping breaks, whatever you hit will be out the door and on the way to you between now and next Tuesday, the 27th, a week from today. Sometimes they go towards the front end of that. Sometimes they go towards the back end, but they won't be later than the 27th going out the door a week from today. 
if you got skunked in the memorabilia break and uh, your team did not pull anything at all, you can still uh, get a consolation card. You're entitled to one. And what usually happens is I just hang on to it. And then I send it the next time you have a package shipping out because it is a free shipping break. But if you don't want to wait that long and you're due a consolation card and you'd like to have it right away, you only need to send me a message on eBay. You let me know that and I'll take care of it for you. Our paid shipping break, which is what we just completed, is Gold Label Baseball. And, of course, I'm expecting to have that out the door on Friday, as always, plus or minus a day. But Friday is my best estimate. And I think everybody probably pulled cards in that. We have quite a few cards in that break. If for some reason, though, you didn't get anything at all, not even a single little lonely base card, I would still send you a package, and it would have consolation card or cards in it, and it would ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door. So that is how that works. And what do we need to do now? We need to come over here and take a look at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow we've got a new release coming, two of them actually. 1920 Encased Basketball and 2021 Contenders Draft Picks Basketball. Each by the half case, both instances, they are loose boxes from shared cases. And in the instance of 2021 Contenders Draft Picks, Spots are listed by the first letter of the last name. Because, yeah, you know, draft being delayed and all these guys haven't even been drafted yet. So we don't know where they're going to go. So that's why we're going to sell that one out that way. Thursday night, we're going to break a half case of Allen and Ginter baseball as the back half of a case we started a few days ago. And as normal, there will be multiple bidding spots listed for all the non-baseball stuff that comes in Allen and Ginter. Friday, we have another new release. It's one I like a lot, and it's XR Football. It comes in a weird 15 box case size and we're gonna bust the full case of it on Friday night. The leaf release that was due to come out on Friday, they apparently changed the date of it or something. I don't exactly know what they've done, but anyway, I didn't trust it to really get there on Friday. So I took it off eBay, we'll put it back up when we know more. I think that's the safest way to do that with leaf. Then the 24th, 25th, Saturday and Sunday, both will be off nights. And yeah, I guess that's it for me tonight, other than let me see if I can catch up here and see if I've missed anything in chat. I see Chris said his cousins had a future bet for the Braves and the Rays. Oh my God, he was so close to having some guaranteed money. Oh, you know, he was just sick when the Braves lost that. Oh, Chris says S21 wasn't going to come out but they for a while, but they pushed their release date. Oh, so it's sooner than like March or something? Oh, well then, um, yeah, maybe I can't, maybe I'll be able to get the 21 instead. I need to look that up. I just thought it was the usual, you know, coming out February, March-ish. So maybe I can make that happen. Thank you, Chris. That's good to know. And, uh, yeah, I guess that is it for me tonight. Appreciate you all. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your night. I hope you'll come back and see me again sometime so you know it's not always like this with the weird start tonight. I promise it's not always like this. And in the meantime, stay safe, happy, and healthy. And I will be back again tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Bye now.